Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 30th, 2022 New Moon, Black Moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Okay, that's interesting. I'm seeing sunflowers and roses blooming. Sunflowers. I feel very much connected to the sun. Like, it's saying a new dawn is coming and the rose is the birth flower for June, right? And it is also a sense of my heart is opening, but what I love is coming forward. It doesn't mean that it has to be romantic, but it's almost like there's a new sun rising in our lives for what we love, for what we desire. That's really pretty, Capricorn. Okay, so let's look at the energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. This is the two of pentacles. It's being out of balance. There is an energy around us that's knocking us out of balance, that's making us feel like, oh, can I do this? Can I move forward this way? Is this what I need? Is this what I want? There's also somebody around us wherever we, whenever we feel like we get our footing, phew, they just knock us right down. And that's what I'm just seeing. It's just like they just knock down the dominoes. So be aware of this. Then we have our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. Rebirth. This is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. We are reborn. We're seeing things differently. We're seeing things more intricately and the way that they're connected to us. We are also seeing us spreading our wings. I see that we're coming out of a time of darkness or a time of doubt. So let's talk about this black moon, this new moon. So it is a black moon because it is the second new moon in a month. So the first new moon was on April 1st. This new moon is on April 30th. The last time we had a black moon was in 2020. This heightens everything, the time that we spend looking between us. I also see this as a completion of a cycle that started on August 2020. The name Augie just came forward with August, so... Just needed to state that as it is coming forward, as it is presenting itself. We have a lunar eclipse, which makes this time astoundingly emotional. Be prepared. And it causes the things that we aren't working out in our lives, that we aren't like finding a solution to, they start to break. They start to break down. So we have to pay attention to them, causing us to face truths we'd rather not face. We'd rather not see. So being aware of this and not running away is going to be astoundingly important. This new moon is in Taurus. Taurus is very sensitive and there's this need here for stability. We're going to have a heightened, again, a heightened sensitivity is coming forward, especially for us Capricorn. We don't want to admit that heightened sensitivity. We want to kind of be like, no, I got this. I can departmentalize. I, I can handle everything. No, sensitivity is going to be a very important thing for us to connect to during this time. And again, we need stability. We need to balance ourselves and know that we won't be easily satisfied. Like we might find the stability here and then we'll be like, oh, but it could be better there or it could be more this. No, the stability, the balancing of us, the seeing of us, that is going to be important. We need to learn to accept that 
change is a part of life. Even though right now we don't really want it, we want things to just kind of stay the status quo. We need to find our own self-respect and self-worth, not through things, not through the acclaim of others, but within ourselves, which is just a powerful, powerful message, but very true, especially with Taurus energy backing it. Accepting ourselves for who we are makes it easier for us to find peace and tranquility, which is again going to be the cornerstone for what we need during this time. So let's look at what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. We have Saturn. Okay, Capricorn, we're ruled by Saturn. So we're coming through here very strong. We have the sun and we have the five of wands. So yeah, a lunar eclipse, a new moon. The sun is coming through very importantly. But also we saw in the imagery that came forward while the singing bowl was singing the energy of the sunflower. So there's some sort of light, some sort of a passion, a power that's coming forward. It is coming forward after chaos and it is coming forward when people have been fighting. And it could have started off good natured or it could have started off as something that could have been easily handled. Now it's much more intense. So we need to be mindful of this. We also need to be mindful of an internal conflict within us that is, it's like, I'm so used to fighting, I'm just going to fight all the time. So being aware of that is going to help us to, to lessen a lot of heartbreak, pain, disappointment that can come into our lives. The sun is illuminating. As it is shadowing, as it is causing us to turn inward, it's also going to be sending a spotlight. We are very much connected to, to ourselves, to what we need, to what we want, to who we are, the essence of us. We need to be mindful, Capricorn, that we don't take things so seriously, that this time loses all its joy, and that we have a tendency to lose our joy because of that. So being aware of that, again, very important. Let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides so we have here have faith in your dreams and this is a time where we need to see ourselves our dreams and what we desire and what's important to us and what isn't and having faith in those dreams and seeing those dreams that that's going to be a grounding stone a touchstone for us to say yeah but i can do this yeah but i can move forward this way and then we have you're very close to achieving your goals and we are capricorn we're very close to achieving our goals. That's why the light is coming in. There's also a strong Leo connection here that's coming forward. The sun rules Leo. So that needs to be acknowledged also during this time. Then we have the full moon in Libra. And this says a win-win outcome is forecast. It's going to be okay. There's, there's the energy of winning around us. There's an energy of like landing on our feet around us. Now we go deeper into the tarot. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the moon. We have the world. We have the chariot. And we have the high priestess. All major arcana cards. This moon for us is a heavy hitter. It's not going to hold anything back, nor does it want to. This moon is going to show us the world through its quiet, through its subtlety, through its way of making us look within. Because it holds us. It just does. It sees us. Through the darkness, it sees us. And that's going to be something that isn't going to feel really comfortable. It's going to be like, ooh, I don't know if I like this. But there's also a sense of a lot of our fears coming forward and having to confront them and say, can I move forward the way that I want to? Do I know if I want to do this? Do I know if I want to do that? And now with the chariot energy, which is also cancer energy, we are taking the reins. We are starting to see like, you know what? No, I have to move this forward. You know what? I have to go after this. You know what? I have to see this. So there's a sense of we're taking the reins, but we're also embracing the mobility and the quickness and the determination and the force behind our actions. The veil is being lifted from our eyes. There is a sense of I am seeing deeper than I knew I had to. Like I am seeing more than what I thought was on my plate. The moon also has strong Pisces energy coming forward. As this comes forward, as the high priestess comes forward and as things are revealed to us. We have to make sure that we stay calm. We stay stay calm and we don't show everything. Just like the 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 new moon, the black moon, it it doesn't reveal everything. The shadows can live in the black moon, right? It's going to be important for us not to just put everything out there, 
to think on it, to ruminate, to say, okay, well, what does this mean that I'm seeing? And how does this work for me? And where do I want to be? I'm seeing an envelope being opened. And it's like a booklet is inside. It's like, I'm opening up this envelope. And instead of just finding a short little letter, I'm finding this whole big story. And I feel like we're opening up a part of us or there's something that's being opened. I don't know if we're opening the mail during this time. And spirits like right now we're opening the story of us. So making that equation. But there is a real sense of I, I need to open up and I need to read and I need to see. And it, there's more here than what I had originally thought. It brings us to our lunar energy once again. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. Ooh. And show me clearly angels and spirit guides. They're extremes. During this time, we are going to be hit with a lot of extremes that are coming forward. And, <coughs> excuse me, also the realization that we hold the key to a lot more than we thought we did. We are the key. And we're walking through that keyhole. And it's like, oh, is this what it is? We need to not let our extreme emotion get the best of us. We just really need to not. Because there's going to be a reactionary way, a kind of like fiery hot-headed way of dealing with things that will come forward and spirits like no, no 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 don't do that look at the extreme acknowledge the extremes that we feel calm and center ourselves it moves us back to the tarot angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides we have the emperor aries energy we have the fool and we have the hermit again all major arcana energy this energy during this time, it's it's big news. I mean, we had Saturn, we had the sun, and then we had the five of wands. So we're being told, be mindful of fighting. Be mindful of too much chaos within us. Again, that takes us to the extreme. The emperor here, Aries energy, arcing back to the new moon in April, which was in, not in April, yeah, April 1st, there we go, was in, was in Aries. There is a sense of lessons being learned from that new moon to this new moon. It's almost like I've lived a lifetime in a very short period of time. There's a power in an assertion, but there's also somebody who's coming forward, who, who's going to know more, who's going to bring a little bit more, I don't want to say, excuse me, I don't want to say to the table as if we're not bringing enough to the table or any sort of an inadequacy to be felt there, but this person has a different, a different path and they're going to be ruling something that we just, we just can't. They have their own talents. We have to let them shine, period, end stop. With the emperor within ourselves, there is this energy of, I need to stand in confidence and not a fake conf confidence because the moon is showing us that there's, there's a fear that's coming forward and the emotions are coming forward. And it's kind of like, I don't want to seem vulnerable. So I'm going to kind of overstep the other way. We will also be dealing with people who don't want to feel vulnerable so that others overstep the other way. So just being aware of this. Also, also embracing the power. I'm just, I'm just really seeing here the vibration of the voice. The vibration, the vibration of the words, the power that you have within your word, within your speech. That's going to be an important thing to acknowledge. The fool, we have a new road opening up. We have a new way moving forward. There's a part of us that's always afraid of being seen as foolish, of being laughed at, as being mocked. And spirit is saying here, they might mock. They might look at you and see the clown that's on this card. That's up to them. There is an old saying, your opinion of me does not matter or is none of my business. And that's true, but that's really hard to swallow. What we are going to see here is that I need to move forward on a path that maybe others do not understand, but needs to be right for me. And as I do this, I find my talent. I embrace my talent. I embrace who I am. The Hierophant is the Pope in the right of weight Smith deck. You know, it is the, the main power of the ancient medieval world that had say over the emperor there's a sense of this institution is greater than it seems there is more here than meets the eye there is power there is insight there are ideas coming forward and we need to know that we hold that key that key to what we need to unlock that levels us up i just see it like a video game like you level up so let's see what the moon has to say once again angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides 
So we have meditate and contemplate because it brings balance. And that's what we need. We need to meditate. We need to contemplate strong Pisces energy again coming forward during this time. We need to meditate and contemplate to have balance, beauty, serenity in our lives. It brings us then to a time for healing. Pleasure. There's pleasure that comes from the healing that we're doing. There is pleasure that comes from the release that comes forward. It brings us to our subconscious Luna energy, which is a new romantic cycle begins from the darkness of this black moon, from the darkness that we are seeing and facing. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the wheel. Change is coming. Spirit is say, saying, don't be held back in our old ways. Embrace change. Okay? Don't be run over by it also. Don't let it just like take full advantage of you too. Saying, oh, I'm embracing change and they can just do whatever they want. No, there, there needs to be a balance. Our subconscious chakra energy is the heart chakra and it's love. It's love. Our heart needs love. It just needs love. It needs joy. It needs more laughter and dancing and beauty and just a release. And, and the silliness needs to come forward. A, 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 a beauty of laughter. We then have the hermit. Our subconscious tarot message begins with the hermit turning inward. Seeing. Searching. Quieting things down is going to be really important because we can let everybody else overpower us. It moves us then to justice. Again, two major arcana cards. Once again, strong Libra energy coming forward. Balance, insight, ideas. Being just, but being discerning. Not letting everybody's voice overpower the way that we need to move forward, what we're looking for, what we're seeing within ourselves and for ourselves. It's like I need to be discerning of the energy that I'm letting in. I need to be just with the way that I'm handling things. And I need to move forward in a power of realization for me. It brings us then to the Queen of Wands. Fire, insight, ideas. The queen, the queen of Wands is a new passion, a new beauty, a new, a new sense of self coming forward. And it's very, very interesting because usually in the Rider Waite Smith deck, when the Queen of Wands comes forward, the sunflower comes forward with it. So that imagery from the very beginning now is tying to the end. There, there's a new dawn that's coming forward. It is loving. It is nurturing. It is creative. It is beautiful. It is chaotic. It is everything and nothing all in one. And we're going to see ourselves just kind of awed by it. All right. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and intensity of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn, and may you have a blessed moon. <laughs>